Okay, guys. So this next submission we're gonna work is submission from the is submission from the mount. Okay, the back mount and the mount are probably the two most dominant positions in jiu-jitsu. To when so whenever you achieve one of those positions, you guys should be finishing the match without a doubt. So today we're gonna work a really common position from the full mount that happens a lot. You know, you get a guy who's just defending for his life, locks his arms in, doesn't let you choke him, doesn't let you arm arm, doesn't let you do anything. He's not trying to escape. It can be frustrating at times, but with this next technique, it's going to solve all that for you guys. I know you guys are going to love it. So, so from here, guys, you know, if you ever get a guy when you mount, he just keeps his knees, I'm um, sorry, his elbows in front of your knees here so you can't walk up, keeps his hands in the collar. You, you can't get your hands into choke or anything like that, right? So it can be a pain. So from here, you know, real, uh, a simple technique that I use a lot. You know, I use it in matches. I use it in training a lot. And it works really well for me, okay? Now, for me, what I want to do, I like to use the concept of two-on-one, okay? Two against one, usually the, the two is going to win. So, for me, what I like to do is take my two hands and just pull out a little bit of weight on one of his arms here, just like this, okay? Now, sometimes you can break the arm. I'm sorry, break his grip here and start attacking arm locks, but you'll get that guy who's just, I'm telling you, has a death grip, you know, so you can't pry his arm away from his body. So, for me, I'll keep my two-on-one, and now what I'm going to do, keep one of your hands on his hand here, on the wrist, right around that area. And then I'm going to take my other hand, and I'm going to go look for a sleeve grip, just like so. Okay? So he's here. Like I said, we're here. We're pushing down, putting pressure down on one arm. And now I'm going to take my right arm. I'm going to go right across, same side. Okay? So if it's my right arm, I'm going to attack his left arm. So I'm going to pull my right hand up and look for the sleeve. Now all I'm going to do, guys... Try to pull up a little bit here, as much as you can, even if it's a, an inch. That's all we need. I'm going to pull up here just like this because he's focused on defending with this one mostly. Because why? We put a lot of pressure on this one. So his head, his mind, his brain is working on, okay, i got to keep this arm strong. So he kind of forgets about this arm a little bit. So we go in here, we lift a little bit, and we slide this knee up. Now that i got this knee underneath his elbow a little bit, we're good to go. Okay? We're in route to getting the victory. So from here, my right hand goes back. To the sleeve. Now all I'm gonna do, guys, you're literally gonna jump. Okay, I'm gonna jump up a little bit, and I'm gonna use my left hand to push off his body here. Okay, and when I jump, I'm jumping while keeping this knee underneath this elbow here to open up the arm even a little bit more. So I'm gonna jump, pull this wrist up, and I'm gonna land my hips up a little higher up. So I'm gonna come here. Now my left leg's trapping this arm, so my left hand can leave this arm. I go back to this hand right here. Two hands on one. Put my right leg over, fall back, right from my arm lock. It's really simple, but you guys will be surprised how well it works. So again, I'm here. Guy has his elbows in front of my knees here. He's got the death grip here. He's not letting me push anything open. So like I said, we're going to go work with the two-on-one theory here. Put a lot of pressure on one arm here. So he's focusing on this one arm. So as he's doing that, I... Switch, I quickly switch over to the other hand. I lift and get my knee underneath just a little bit. Now when it's time to finish, I'm going to pull and I'm going to pop my hips up while pushing off this wrist here and pulling this one up. So I'm pushing this one down and pulling this one up. Now I'm going to throw my hips up and turn them in midair to the right, to my, uh, to my right side right here. Almost like I'm shifting for like an arm bar. That's what we're going to eventually be doing, but first we got to shift our hips. So I'm going to push and pull as I pop my hips up. That's all I need. Now, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw my right leg over, it's two hands on one, fall back, finish our arm bar. And it's hard for our opponent to defend. Why? Because our left leg here is controlling this arm right here. So even if he grips here, once we fall back, he can't fight that grip because my left leg's stopping his other arm. It's keeping it trapped. And now we have an arm lock, we're getting the tap, and we're getting that gold medal. Now with a little bit of speed, so you guys can see how it looks. So at first, you gotta take your time with it, you know? Really pull, push here, you know, really get the guy thinking. 